Yo team, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna be covering the exact ways that I'm currently utilizing AI to automate my cold email systems and how I'm currently saving hundreds of hours collectively for myself and my clients by implementing these automations. Plus, if you stick around, I've got a bonus somewhere in this video that you do not want to miss. And if you have any questions about the content in this video or about Cold Outbound, then leave a comment and I will personally respond. All right, guys, let's dive in. All right, guys, so we've now dived into the doc and as mentioned i'm going to show you how i'm currently automating cold email with ai so the first thing that i'm going to cover here is researching your prospect ChatGPT 4 is access to the sum of knowledge of the entire human race up until i think september 2021 this means that it's probably far more knowledgeable about your prospects than you are you just have to prompt it in the right way at advanced client my company we use ChatGPT to deep dive research on our prospects so we fully understand their one needs, desires, and things that they hate before we outreach. ChatGPT 4 is also incredibly powerful for generating multiple angles that we can A, B test in the initial stages of outreach. So this is a prompt that I've been testing out and utilizing recently. You can test this out yourself. You can tweak it. You can do what you like with it, but it's a pretty good prompt so far. So what I say to ChatGPT is I am a, I'm a lead generation agency and we work with B2B companies, specifically marketing agencies or mainly marketing agencies, and by filling their pipeline with quality prospects and helping them close their sales. We're currently reaching out to these companies using cold email. Write 10 pain points our prospect goes through in their job, categorizing them by daily pains, weekly pains, monthly pains, and yearly pains. And this is the result that it generated for me when I filtered in the stuff that's relevant to me. So it says, sure, I can help with that. Here's a breakdown of potential pain points marketing agencies might experience categorized by daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly. So as you can see here, we've got loads of pain points that we can utilize. And these, again, broken down down on a daily pain, on a weekly pain, monthly pain, and yearly pain. And what that does is gives us a big range of angles of pain points that we can test out in our campaign. And we can do massive A-B tests where we could fire our emails to the market and we can quickly see what people are resonating with, whether that's they're dealing something on a daily basis, whether that's a weekly basis, a monthly basis, or maybe something every single year. And this is just pissing them off. If we can hit their pain points, then we can build campaigns that are highly relevant to them. Now, the next way that we're utilizing this to automate processes is by cleaning our data. This is a super underrated thing that a lot of agencies and a lot of people who are in cold email are missing out on. And Having cleaned, prepared data, it's as I mentioned, it's an often overlooked aspect of cold email, but can have a drastic effect on your results. Most databases that you'll scrape, whether it's Sales Navigator, Apollo, Store Leads, will provide you with uncleaned, often unformatted data. This is just raw data that they've pulled up the internet. By inserting this as a dynamic variable into your cold email, you risk flagging the spam filter and making your email look mass generated, which takes away from anything else in the email. So for example, let's say that you're reaching out to a guy called John who works for a company called Banana Co. So if you said, hi, capital letters, John, it instantly looks weird. I noticed that you're doing great work working at Banana Co LTD LLC they can tell straight away that you put no effort into this email and you just filtered in words, rubbish. Instead, take the time to clean your data before sending so that your emails look something like this. Hey John, notice the great work you're doing at Banana Coat. This instantly looks better and it looks like a person actually wrote it and your prospects won't be annoyed at you because you haven't put any time and effort into it. Then instead look at that and they'll say, okay, great. And they'll be able to move on and read your offer. And you can do this super easily and um, with using the, the chat GPT for sheets extension and using the following prompts. This is a prompt that I've been utilizing recently. So take this company name and properly format it, clean it up, remove any legal suffixes and return only the core company name to be used in cold outreach. And I find that 99% of the time, this works really, really well. Now, another thing that you can do here is personalizing your outreach. And yes, you can personalize your outreach using personalized lines, but it may not be in the way that you think. So in my opinion, AI personalized lines come across a little bit creepy, a little bit unnatural um, at the time of recording this video. If you're watching this in the future, things may have changed and we may have fantastic AI personalized lines, but right now I don't think they're that good and I think they come off a little bit weird. So the first thing that we can do here 
Now, I know I'm a little bit of a hypocrite, but the first thing you can do here is creating AI personalized lines. So I know I'm a hypocrite, but this is an option that is definitely worth testing. Not only is a way to personalize your emails, but as a way to increase deliverability. Also, as a PS line, it won't be the first thing that your prospect reads. So if your, your email is, hey, first name, personalized line, offer, case study, call to action, then you may be creeping them out a little bit with that AI personalized line. Whereas if you take that AI personalized line and slot it right at the bottom with a PS section, it's a nice little personalized touch at the end, and it's gonna increase your deliverability because every single personalized line is gonna be different for every single prospect. So for example, it could be like, PS, love what you guys are achieving at company name. I can see why product name is your best seller or something along those lines. You can play around and tweak with your um, GPT prompts and, and make something that works for you guys. The second thing, and this is something that I'm actively doing, is industry specific quotes. So you wanna ask ChatGPT to generate quotes relevant to your prospect and insert them at the bottom of each sequence. This will increase your deliverability and add relevant, interesting touch points to your cold email. So for example, let's say that your prospects are lawyers. We've got right here five quotes um, about lawyers, about law or from lawyers in a spin tax format that we can insert straight away. And it's super, super easy to get ChatGPT to do this. And this is only five. You could get like a hundred and then you could insert into your cold email and every single cold email you will send will have a completely different quote attached to it. And again, this is gonna increase your deliverability and it's gonna add a nice little personalized touch point at the end of the email that shows your prospect that you care about their industry and that you've done a little bit of research onto them. And you can also make these quotes funny or relatable for your prospect to make the emails come across even more natural and to cut through the noise of the inbox. Honestly, you don't need to be so serious in your cold emails. If you can make it natural, if you can make it a little bit funny but not cringy, then you're likely to convert a lot more people. And you know, if someone's having a bad day and they get like a funny email in their email inbox or someone that really understands them, then you know, you're likely to make their day and you're more likely to get a response from them. Another way that we're automating our cold email campaigns at the moment is by adding spin tax using ChatGPT. Spin tax is essential to mass volume cold outreach. Your emails will land in spam if you send the same template 10,000 times. However, it can be a pain to add to your scripts. If you're doing this manually, it can take ages. It could take an hour, it could take an hour or two. You have to pay a VA to do it and then you're losing money there. So we use ChatGPT to quickly add spin tax to our scripts. What we do is we give it an example of a script that's, that is before spin tax and after spin tax. And then what you do is you put the script that you want spin taxed in there and tell it to spin tax it. If you give it enough context, it'll be able to do this really well. And this is fast and it often finds areas that we wouldn't have thought about even just to spin which is really cool. Now, the last point here is this bonus point as well. So I'm sure you've been waiting around. You maybe even skipped to this point. If you have, that's not you go back and watch the rest of the video. If not, then let's dive in. So the bonus point here, and this is an AI inbox manager. And this is one of the recent developments in the AI space is this AI inbox manager. I've spoken to multiple companies. I've had demos with them. And they're actually really cool. And this is a major development that could change the game. And this is allowing business owners to purely focus on sales calls, products, and moving the business in the right Right direction instead of grinding in the inbox. Right now, honestly, they're a little bit rudimentary. However, the payoff in terms of time saved can be massively worth it if you're getting, say, 10 positive responses every single day. Can you imagine if you could replace an inbox manager or you could replace an SDR with an AI inbox manager? Think of how much more money that would save. Think of how much more quickly you could, you could guarantee responses. And um, it's a really, really interesting development. So, definitely worth looking into an AI inbox manager. Now guys, if you want to see more, then subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you're first notified of when I post. Now guys, I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much.